Turning now to the coronavirus vaccine, the state of Florida is in a race to get more shots into arms. So far, more than 400,000 people in Northeast Florida have been vaccinated. But for the last several weeks, federal and state vaccination sites have struggled to administer all the vaccines they have available to eligible patients. News for Jack's reporter Kelly Wiley is following outreach teams as they work to sign people up for a shot. Kelly? Well, Joy, you'll recognize them by these bright neon shirts that they wear. This particular team we've been following throughout the day, they've been out here for five hours in the Arlington area, going door to door, trying to get people to go to COVID-19 vaccine sites. This is Nicole Green. Since last March, the registered nurse has been away from home, traveling the country, helping states during the COVID-19 pandemic. Jersey, New York, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, um, I've been to Minnesota, Louisiana. This is the first campus in assignment. Most of my assignments, except this one, is direct patient care. Have you had to like mentally check in with yourself over this Oh, time? most definitely, especially at the beginning when you saw a lot of deaths. It, that's, that'll take a toll on you, but you have to remember what you're here for. Today, she and her team are knocking on doors in the Arlington neighborhood, registering people for a COVID-19 shot. The goal is to get as many as we can. By noon, outreach teams knocked on 67 doors. Some of the people they spoke with didn't speak English. A barrier, they say, to having a conversation around vaccine hesitation. Of the people they spoke to, some had already gotten their shot. Others, like this woman, who already had COVID twice, had no interest. So you haven't been vaccinated then? No, ma'am, I haven't. And you don't want to be? I don't want to be, but I know eventually they, they're going to force it because I am in the healthcare field. Why don't you want to be vaccinated? Because I don't feel I should have to be. It should be a personal choice. One big barrier they say they're coming across is they're finding people who are willing to go get the vaccine, but they're not old enough. They don't fit the current criteria, so they have to move on. We have nine. She has Right five. before the teams take a 15-minute break, they go over which houses they've gone to and how many have signed up. Some of them, they don't have no ways, you know. They didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just explained to them how everything is working. If they don't have any transportation, we're going to tell Miss Nicole. And this team, they've just started going into this apartment complex. You can see them breaking up and starting to knock on doors. This team is made up of about 10 or so people. And this is a, a lot of work, a lot of door knocking, a lot of people who don't answer the door. Some people say they've already gotten it. And a lot of, at times, trying to educate people and tell them the benefits of the vaccine, that they qualify, where they can go get it. Uh, this team in particular, they have been out here since, I want to say around 11, and they won't stop until 7 p.m. A lot of the people that are in this group are not from Florida. They're not from Jacksonville. Like Nicole, they've traveled from across the country, Alabama, uh, from Texas, to come here and help Florida residents get signed up for this vaccine. A lot of people who've been away from home for more than a year now.